Oh, no. Uh, uh, ah, uh. <coughs> Hi, guys. Welcome to Office Blokes React. Please don't leave that in, Charlotte. Um, I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. <laughs> Office Bloke Naz. It's definitely staying in. Yeah. Together, we are the Office Blokes, aren't we? Yep, yeah, we are. It's a true factual statement. We've got a Patreon page. Yep. People like to go there and watch exclusive videos and stuff, don't they, Mike? They do indeed, yeah. What Bad. kind of exclusive content do we have on there, Mike? All sorts. All sorts, eh? That's yep. tantalising. Narrows it down. <laughs> I know, yeah. <clears throat> We've got a lot of, uh, like, a popo medic at the moment, haven't we? <laughs> what? Should we them? A few of them. No, I think it's uh, a donut operator. Yeah. Is what you meant. There's a bit of popo medic <laughs> as well. But, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> but I thought you meant donut operator. I think you did mean yeah, donut I think you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's possible. <laughs> That's what I meant. How, what's the sort of barrier of entry for our, um, <laughs> for our Patreon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one pound fifty. There you go. Yeah, oh, there you go. That's more like it, <laughs> right? Big J Okerson has a whole new comedy uh, special on YouTube's. Yeah, not watched it yet on YouTube's. Yeah, I've actually watched the whole special. Oh, you have? Yeah. <clears throat> right. Fair yeah. enough. <clears throat> it's good. Right. There's not much else to say. It's like it's just Big J Okerson. Yeah, it's him yeah, being yeah. filthy and yeah, yeah. yeah. funny guy. <clears throat> yeah, but this this is a clip from it. This special is called Dog Belly, and this is a clip about Michael Jackson. Ooh, right. So uh, let's get into it. That Michael Jackson documentary, I think I found some funny on it. And that was a hard one. <laughs> that was a hard one for me, because again, I'm almost 45. So Michael Jackson was in my wheelhouse, the coolest thing in the world when I was a kid. I learned the entire thriller choreography and performed it for my great-grandmother, Selma Eisenstein. <laughs> yeah, she was less than a good audience, I will say. And it sucks because I was drilling it too. I had the whole thing. <laughs> she had the tubes in her nose. She was like, it's wonderful. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Grandma Selma Eisenstein. You don't know shit. You don't even know if this is good. I was such a big fan. And I followed him like all through my like teens and adulthood. And like, we always heard the stories. We heard what a creep. And that he was a, they call him a pedophile, all the accusations. But this dude, Michael Jackson, walked through the raindrops. He died technically in the legal eyes, an innocent man. And then two years ago, they released four hours of documentary of him just wailing on the assholes of these two young boys. <laughs> I mean, putting in the work. <laughs> and it crushed me to watch it. I believe it, but I, it really killed me to watch it as such a fan. But also, I have to watch everything with a comedian's eye. And I try to make funny, as I said, of the most fucked up shit. But I have to let it process first. You know what I mean? And this was like, I think I did go with Michael Jackson documentary. Because I try to go for the worst thing. And did anybody in here see it? Who saw all four hours of it? Because I like people. You saw it? I want you to back me up. That this is verbatim. It sounds like I'm making it up. Because I thought the most crazy thing in the Michael Jackson documentary was both these young men described separately but they described the same exact story so I believe them of going to Michael Jackson's house having to get butt naked on all fours on his bed while quote unquote spreading their butt cheeks correct spreading their butt cheeks open yeah and then Michael Jackson would lay behind them with no pants on just a shirt they specified that for some reason <laughs> And he would masturbate. And that fucking sucks. That's not funny. In and of itself. <laughs> but you gotta look at how cool comedy can be if you let it. You know what I mean? <laughs> now I know that I just painted a pretty ugly picture. I know that. <laughs> I'm not a monster. That was a horrible thing I just described. <clears throat> but really, let's be honest. There's only one problem we have with the picture, really. There's a little boy spreading his butt cheeks. Look how cool I'm going to be. Take him out of the picture. You don't need him anymore for this funny. And instead, put yourself in his place. <laughs> right now, the adult you are making adult decisions. And today, you decided to spread your butt cheeks for Michael Jackson. And I mean, you are spreading them. That's the king of pop behind you. You're not going to chintz today. If ever there was a day you were going to grip and rip that shitter open, this is the one. This is the big dance. This is the show. You know those lines by your asshole where it looks like it's going warp speed? Those are flat. The pleats are ironed, if you feel me. 
and I will argue with you that it is funny when you picture looking over your shoulder and you see the moonwalker himself Donald Duck in it with the top half of a uniform for an army that doesn't exist <laughs> and his glitter glove hand wrapped around his cow skin speckled wiener shut the fuck up that is funny I bet his dick looks like dog belly do you get a picture of what I mean when I say that can you picture it you can almost chew on it couldn't you it's not even soft or hard it's always in a state of dense wiggly <laughs> It's, it's a good Short special. Straight. I'd yeah. have to watch the full special. Yeah, that's yeah. that's kind of the culmination because right? obviously the special's called Dog Belly mm. and he yeah. sort of builds up to builds that. Up, yeah. But yeah. there's a lot of topics on offer mm. in the special. Yeah. It's yeah. not just like... Yeah. No, he's a funny guy liking me. He's got yeah. a lucky style. It's quite a unique delivery. Yeah, definitely. He's got that like... Uh, you know, someone's telling you a story in a pub at 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. So yeah. like the big guy's still there and he's on like, he's, you're still drinking beer and he's on his whiskey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And he's telling you a story. It's got, it's got the type of voice that you're like listening to as well, haven't mm. you? It's like quite a deep voice, aren't you? Yeah, That's yeah. the way he delivers it. It's, yeah, pretty good way of doing it. I think you got it exactly. He is that guy in the pub and the stories yeah. just get dirtier and yeah, everyone's yeah, just yeah, sat yeah, around yeah, laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's always got a great story to tell yeah. about something. It's yeah. like, yeah. but he's probably, that, that voice, you have to get really down and dirty with it, don't you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's made for it. You can't tell like fairy stories with uh, with that no, voice. It, no, the, the, that type of material is made for it, isn't yeah. it? Right. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Nice. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, Cheers guys. guys.